Hey, guys, it's Paxton here, and I know it's been a while. I know. <laughs> um, but guys, honestly, um, right now, there isn't any games to play, so what I've been doing with my time, um, I've been planning skits, and also, I've been, uh, playing lots of Dead by Daylight, so that that's what I'm on right now, as you guys can see, and as you guys can tell by the title, 200,000 blood points. Yes. Um, that's all this video is gonna be, is me spending 200,000 blood points. Um, I played for a long days straight. Um, here, let, let's actually see, not, not that. <laughs> let's actually see what my thing is. Okay, view all friends, uh, let's go here. And let's see, Dead by Daylight, how many hours have I spent on it? The past week, the past two weeks, 20... 1.4 hours in the past two weeks. Um, that's probably like in the past freaking one week. Um, guys, I actually really like this game. I've been playing it a lot. Um, it's so much fun. <laughs> um, also, guys, um, wait, current game, what? That, that's me. Um, guys, also, I've been doing a lot more better in Dead by Daylight. That's that's mainly what I've been doing. I've just been practicing and getting better, um, joining lobbies and learning, figuring out the killers and like breaking them down step by step, figuring out their weaknesses and also figuring out my strengths and my weaknesses for this game. Um, and actually I've learned now that I'm actually pretty good at sneaking around. Um, like the five game, five or so games I played today, um, I actually, um, I, I was at a generator. I messed up once by accident a couple of times. Um, and then the killer like came around and was like, "Hey, who the hell's there?" And like they they went around, um, and like looked. But I, when I was there, like I didn't run away. No, no, sorry, I wasn't a pussy and I didn't run away. I stayed. I stayed at the generator, except I was crouched and walking around it, and the killer didn't see me whatsoever. So it's either they're a complete noob, or I'm actually somewhat good at the game. Um, so, yeah, and I actually, I got a lot of stuff. And guys, so let's go play as Survivor, and as you guys can see, uh, my Dwight boy, level 31. But, <laughs> oh, oh, look at that freaking blood points. 211,000 blood points. Yes, let's go. Um, still, my survivor rank isn't the greatest, but that's okay. Um, it's been going up every day. Or not, not, not that, but like, it's, it's been good, okay, guys? Just, just don't worry. Anyway, let's get into the main video, guys. And let's spend these blood points. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm, I don't, yeah, okay, there's this one. We'll make it is helping others heightens your moral for each survivor you rescue from a hook. Gain an additional 25% um, percent speed increase um, for healing others up to a maximum of 100% for 30 seconds. So I would go with that one, but I want to go with this one. <clears throat> okay, uh, the reason why I want to go with this one is because th this is not happening. It's an uncommon perk and it says... Um, you perform at your best when you are under extreme stress. Great skill checks, um, great skill check success zones, um, when repairing, healing, sabotaging, get 10% bigger when you are injured. So that means when I'm basically, like, not fully down, but, like, one more hit away from being down, that means it's 10%, um, bigger for when I'm doing that, um... So, it's pretty cool. So, uh, okay. Let's go here. Let's get that. And let's get that. And then, let's just finish off getting this stuff. Okay. Next level. Level 32. Whew. Okay. So, we can either go with Spine Chill 2 or Leader. Um, and actually, wait. Before we go on, I will just want to check out my loadout here. See, guys? I got all this. No one left behind is level three. I didn't, I didn't know that. Damn. Um, I, I got not bad stuff actually. Um, and wait, my items. 
Oh boy! <laughs> um, I actually haven't worked that much, and I've I gotten this stuff, guys. Um, pretty crazy, right? So one thing that kind of sucks is like, yeah, I, I have this. I have these uncommon first aid kits, four uncommon flashlights. Um, see, I'm not gonna use these because these are rare, and like I I found them in chests in games, and I won, and escaped with them. But see, I have all that stuff. But one thing that I kind of don't like is that every game I got in and survived, it wasn't with an uncommon toolbox. It wasn't with a common toolbox. It was with an uncommon. Now I have six. That is a good thing, but it's also a bad thing because I don't want to run out of uncommon toolboxes. So that's why I don't I don't really go into games with that stuff on unless like I think it's important really. And like offerings, I don't really use them unless they're common. Cause that. I don't, I don't really care about him, but yeah. <laughs> um, see, D D D David King here is level eight. She's level thirty-two. I I'm gonna mainly be focusing on Dwight because he's my main character. And it, honestly, if I wanted to upgrade other characters, I could just use Dwight to get all the blood points and then go and get those characters. Um, I know some people may be like Paxton, that's cheating, but no. It's not. I worked my freaking ass off to get this. So, there you go. Okay. Now, let's read this stuff. Okay. A leader. Very rare. Dwight. <laughs> um, Dwight Fairfield perk. Um, you're... 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 You... You're... You are able to organize a team to cooperate more efficiently. Increase other survivors' repair, healing, sabotage, cleansing, opening gate... Opening exit gates and searching speed by 6% when they are within an 8 meter range. So, I have the level 1 leader. That's what's on right now. Um, that's how... Um, anytime I'm, like, in a little group at a generator, that's why things speed up faster. Um, because of that. Um, and it's it's great. It's good. It's great, actually. Um, don't get me wrong. Uh, but right now, it's only 3%. Now, if I get that other one, it's 6%. <laughs> um, and when they're within an 8 meter range, um, if they're even not on the thing with me, as long as they're in that range, I can still get that upgrade and that boost, which is great. And spine chill. Uh, whew. Spine chill. An unnatural tingle warns you um, of independent doom. Get notified when the killer is looking directly in your direction and standing within a 24 meter range. Oh. <coughs> While spine chill is active, skill check trigger odds are increased by 10% with success zones reduced by 10%. Okay, that's not that good. Um. While spine chill is active, um, your repair, heal, sabotage speeds are increased by four. So, it's not that good, but it's good, but it's not that good. So that's why I'm going with leader. So let's go here, 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 and a hundred thousand blood points might not seem a lot like a lot, but it it surprisingly actually is. Um. So, yeah. <laughs> um. See, le level thirty-three. <laughs> Um, oh, okay, prove thyself. I think I have that one on right now, and that's the only way, oh no, um, Kinder, I've, I've kept away from Kinder for a while because I don't really care about it, um, unlocks potential in one's, er, um, era, or aura, reading ability while you're on the hook, one random survivor aura is revealed to all other survivors, well, well, that doesn't really help me. It doesn't really help the other people either. Yeah. <laughs> so, prove thyself. This is what I have uh, right now. Um, actually, wait, do I? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, prove thyself. So, that means I can get to level... Th I can get that to the max level, which is level 3, and which is a very rare. So, yeah. Um, let let's read. Prove thyself. Prove thyself. Receive an... Um, incremental speed bonus to repair, healing, sabotage, cleansing, opening gates, and search speed when other survivors are within eight me within an eight meter range. Guys, 
So that, prove thyself, plus what I already have, which is... Wait, I think I... Oh, wait, wait was that it? No. Leader. <laughs> prove thyself mixed with leader is probably pretty good. Like, that gains, um, that gains that 6% speed, and prove thyself right now only is that, but with this upgraded one, it gets more. So, that means we could get this stuff done faster. So that, of course, I'm going with that one, and not that, I don't really like that. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't really care, let's go for that. Um, and, oh, alright. I mean, I, I could've went for that, but I don't, I don't really care. Guys, we still, <laughs> we still have 100,000 left. And, ooh, okay, deja vu. Or, what's this, dark sense. Okay, so I, I do have both. But what do they do? Which one's better for me and will benefit me more? <laughs> um, unlocks potential ones are ability two generators. Oh wait, ability. Um, two generators are as <laughs> arrows are received. Um, are are revealed to you for eight seconds when starting the trial. If you are holding a map and can track the generators revealed, okay. Um, are added to the map. So. For me, I don't really use the maps because I don't really care about them. <laughs> and also, <laughs> I don't think I have it. Ugh, my nose is getting all stuffy. <laughs> um, okay, let's see what Dark Sense is. Dark Sense is going to be level 3. <laughs> um, unlocks potential in one's our, our, uh, reading ability when the gates are... When the gates are powered... Um, the, the wait, the killer's aura is revealed to you for 7 seconds, so... It's good, but it's not that good because, like, I guess, um, that's, that's only when the gates are opened. Oh, wait, no, it's when it's powered, so that's when you get all the generators, um, you can see where he's going. I, I guess, I guess it's, it's not that bad, so, you know what, why not? Let, let's, let's get that one. Um, oh, wait, okay, yes, yeah, so let's get that, let's get that. Um, let's get this stuff. Um, we still have good stuff, kind of. Okay. 81,000. Guys. <laughs> we are getting up there. Okay. Oh, prove thyself. It's a teachable perk. Do I want to get it, though? E wait. Is there any other one? Um, ah, here. This is not happening. Perform at your best. Okay, you know what? I will go for that, because prove thyself... I, that means I can teach it to other characters, um, and I, I don't really need that right now. <laughs> so let, let's just go like that. Um, let's. All this stuff is uh, expensive now. Mystery box. What's in it? I didn't see what it was. Damn it. Okay. Okay, and that's gone. Oh, thirty-nine thousand left. Level 36, so we were level 31, so we got five levels. Ah, prove thyself, go away. <laughs> um, what's this? Hope. Um, the growing odds, um, of a successful escape will fill, will fill you with hope and give you wings. As soon as the exit gates are powered, you gain a 5% haste, haste status effect for 120. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Because that just seems better. Then I, don't get me wrong. I, I'm just saying, like, it seems better. It might not be better. It just seems better. Ooh, only 8,000. This might only get me one thing. And one thing only. Um, okay, let's see. So this, we'll make it. And this one. Small game. Capability to sense danger. Getting... Okay. Oh. Okay. Um. You have... The undeniable capability to sense danger. Get an auditory warning when looking in the direction of the killer traps of the killer's traps. The totems in a 45 um, degree cone within range of eight meters. Small game has a cooldown of 15 seconds each each time it activates. Um, <coughs> I don't think that one's that good, so I'm gonna go with. So if I go there and there. Okay. Oh, uh, and I don't have enough. I mean, I have enough for one of these things. Okay. 
Whew. <laughs> a lot of talking and a lot of stuff done. Guys, 200,000 blood points at level, at, at like level 31 might I add, got me to level 37, which is pretty good, which is six levels. Um, yeah, that, that's actually pretty crazy. Um, so I think I'm, I might do another one of these, except maybe 500,000 blood points, who knows? Um, but anyway, I, I don't know why I came up with this idea. I was just like sitting there one day and then I was like, you know what? Well, why people do like open it like, um, liquid divinium, like when, uh, black ops three was like super popular. Everybody was like, Oh, I'm going to get this much liquid divinium. Huh? And then I'm going to spin them on a live stream. And it's like, yeah, that's cool and all. And like <laughs> they're spinning like five hundreds of that stuff. But <laughs> so I I got I kind of got the idea from that except in this game why not um, save up a whole bunch of blood points because every time you play a match even if you die super fast as long as you get something from that game like as long as you get on a generator you're fine you you have a couple like hundred there sometimes even a thousand um, but if you get really good and like escape all the time then it adds up quickly and for me. Since I've been playing this a lot, like, every day now for the this past week, <laughs> um, I gained it pretty quickly. It's like, a span of two days I've been saving up for. And that span of two days was, like, maybe 25 wins, I think? Um, yeah, I think, like, 25 wins. Not even. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But I know I did get a lot. Um, and I did get a lot of this stuff done, and I'm getting better at this game. Um, so maybe one day in the near future, um, 500,000 blood points spending? I don't know. If you guys want to see that video, um, let me know down in the comments. And also, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share this video with friends and family and everybody. And I'll see all you dudes in the next video. Peace out, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> Uh, and also, like, like I said, if you guys do want to see me sp like me spend 500,000 blood points, um, just, just leave a like on this video. Anyway, I'm out. Peace out, guys. <laughs>